Hey, what's up guys, Trish Boost here and welcome back to another One Piece gameplay video. Today I have a match from locals between, on the left we have Zoro, uh, Red Rushoro, and on the right we have uh, Blue Doflamingo actually, which is a deck I didn't showcase on the channel yet and I really wanted to showcase, so uh, yeah, I captured this match basically. Pretty interesting match, I honestly feel like maybe Blue doesn't have such a bad time in this matchup if they manage to get to the mid or the late game, right? However, if Red does see its pieces very quickly or too quickly, then Red definitely has the edge, I think. But yeah, I think uh, if they can grind out Blue, should have a little bit of an advantage. Red starting with the Nami here uh, from the structure deck, which is the one that says you can put a rested done under one of your characters, I think. And then on the right we see the card they like to see the most, which is Perona, which allows them to look at the top 5 of their deck and then put it at either the bottom or the top in the order they want. So really setting up the Doflamingo ability there, which is very nice, of course. Which means that actually starting from next turn, they can just start doing the, Do the Dofi stuff, which is very nice. Now we see Robin coming down, then the Nami giving a Don to the Zoro leader and hitting for 6, which uh, doesn't get countered by Dofi there. There we see two Don being given to Dofi, and then, yeah, of course you knew it was there, putting the Mihawk on the field with the Dofi ability, hitting over the Zoro 7k, no counter, Mihawk being played there, and then uh, putting out the blocker law, so that's one of the best things the deck can do, I think, putting uh, down a suspended guy like Mihawk, which has a pretty strong wet attacking effect, and then putting down a law as well. However, the problem in this specific scenario is the Robin being on the field, honestly. You're gonna be seeing that Robin is going to put in a lot of work. It's very, very powerful. Of course, it's just going to be able to swing and then use the ability to get rid of the law basically when swinging. So the law literally doesn't really accomplish anything at this moment, which is a little bit unfortunate. We're going to see Chopper come down for one, then the Don that was rested for the Chopper being given to the Zoro with Nami, and then. Robin getting a Don as well, so it now is plus 2000 basically because of the Zoro ability, the leader ability. Law being deleted by Robin. And then we see, yeah, Alvida, the 2000 counter being used to protect the Mihawk. However, the Zoro is now just going to attack over it, so he has to have another uh, 2000 counter, I'm pretty sure. But he doesn't have it, or he chooses not to use it, whichever one. And then probably even if he did use it, then this Zoro would have come down anyway to get rid of it, so... Yeah. Already starting to look <laughs> pretty favorable for Red. And again, it's mostly because of the Robin being there. That Robin is very, very powerful. And honestly, I haven't seen the Nami be used a lot. The structure deck Nami, but definitely seems strong in this situation. Now we're going to see Doffy again. I think this is the last time that we know that Doffy is going to hit for sure. And Gekumora is going to hit the field and add the Mihawk to his hand, which is nice because Mihawk is also a 2000 counter. Which you can add, of course, from the trash to the hand. Very, very strong. And Soro is just going to take the damage here. Which is uh, definitely fair. Opting to not use the chopper. He probably wants to use the chopper to protect his uh, Robin or Zoro, maybe. Sentomaru coming down, which is the card that uh, brings out the Pacifista, basically, but he can't do it here because he would need more done and he only has three, so just enough to play it down. Doesn't really accomplish much for this turn. I feel like it's pretty much just fodder for... No, it's too big for the Robin. It's too big for the Robin. I think, but still. So Tama, okay, so Tama come down, which is going to make the Sentomaru small enough for the Robin to delete it, so that's... Um... A little bit unfortunate for the Doffy side. And now Robin is probably going to swing at leader for 6k and then get rid of the Sentomaru. I would imagine that is the line here. Already five guys on the, on the Zoro's field, pretty, uh, pretty crazy. But yeah, Blue not being able to play the control game just yet. Later in the game, of course, with cards like the Doflamingo and even Mihawk, they are quite strong removal options, but for now. Not really doing a lot. Robin actually going to out the Moria and also out the Sentomaru with the ability. And now we're actually going to see Nami swing in for... Is it 6? I think so. Into the Dofi. Yeah. And then 
being caught by the Mihawk, of course. Or, well, not of course, but that happens. <laughs> and then Zoro is going to swing in with 6k as well, and the leader is also going to swing in with 6k. So, honestly, it wouldn't be... Okay, so two counters being used here, but I couldn't quite tell which ones there were. There were, like, at least Boa, Hancock, and another one. But yeah, not really sure how Blue is going to get back into the game. The, with the board say that is now. Robin really putting in an insane amount of work, not going to lie. Honestly, he probably should have prioritized attacking over the Robin with the leader uh, previously. Like, so, okay, so yeah, he's going to do it now, but... Uh, this is rough. So this is definitely a little bit of a misplay on the blue player side, right? He plays down the Kuma, but he actually gets punished super hard by running into the Red Hawk event, which gets rid of the Kuma. And then, okay, luckily he can float into the Pacifista, which he has in hand, but definitely would have been a lot better to just uh, have the Kuma float on Zoro's turn into the Pacifista, right? Instead of... Yeah, he just basically lost for it on there. So definitely always be aware of that, right? When playing against red or green as well, to be honest. You don't really want to be playing your guys before swinging because you can get hit by some event counters which rest your characters or in this case even just uh, KO them. So yeah, definitely not a spot you want to be in. Now the in two years that Sabote is going to pick up the Rush Luffy and we might even see it be game this turn. This Robin going to do some insane damage again. Okay, so it looks like the Otama has played for free here, but I'm pretty sure when I listened to the audio, he mentioned he wanted to play the Otama first and then use the Nami ability to give the Don to the to the Robin. So it would have ended in this uh, in this anyway. It just looked a bit weird without uh, without context. Like he basically played the Otama for free, but I'm pretty sure that wasn't the case. And now. I can imagine he would try to go for a game, honestly, with the amount of Don he has. But okay, yeah, fair enough, of course, because Dofi did have to Don open. It was bound to there be to be some event. He hits into overheat, which bounces the chopper. I feel like probably would have been better to bounce the Zoro, right? Because just it it takes more more Don to play that card opposed to the chopper. So if you want to get the Zoro back on the field, he would have ha had to use Street Don again. Now we see the Rush Luffy come down. And yeah, I feel like the game is pretty much over. Don't really see how Blue is going to get back into it now. Even with something like the Doflamingo or the Mihawk. Yeah, I'm not really seeing it. But who knows, maybe he's uh, going to surprise me and go in super hard by that, yeah. Okay, you see the structure that Crocodile, which is a blocker. But even putting blockers doesn't even really work here because if you uh, Zoro wants, you can just put it done under the leader and then put always done under the rush Luffy and then it's just going to be 100% game. Because I'm pretty sure that the Dofi player at this point has like five cards in his hands and there was no way that with four cards in his hand now he's going to be able to block a swing with 10k from the Luffy, right? So. Yeah, that definitely just seems like a play to do. But there's like a billion ways to go for game here, right? Because Zoro just has so, so much advantage here. And so much pressure. But yeah, let's see how he's going to do it. Definitely going to be game this turn, though. <laughs> Doesn't really matter what happens. He's thinking here. Definitely wants to tap some Don first to make use of that Nami ability, I think. He's going to get rid of his chopper, actually, and play down the Otama to reduce... The Pacifista, now I would assume he's going to swing, so yeah, Nami put the Don under Zoro, and then I would, yeah, going to swing with the Robin, which is going to get rid of the Pacifista, swing with 6k. Dolph is going to block with the Crocodile, and yeah, it's pretty much is over, right? Like I said, I think it would have been the most safe way to go for game with the Luffy, but this definitely also works. Oh, he just had three cards in it, yeah. <laughs> pretty pretty rough game for Duffy, but uh, Red went hard and still a GG.